Uh, Phone lines are open. Bears Monday is right here for you, simmering hot off the presses. You you better bring the same intensity you brought yesterday on Twitter as well, or some of you have cooled down. Maybe some of you have jobs, but it is a Bears (laughs) Monday. Maybe some of you. (laughs) No. (laughs) It's a Bears Monday on the Bernstein and Golf Show. This segment brought to you by Indeed.com. Are you hiring? Join the over 3 million businesses that use Indeed.com for hiring. Post your next job opening on the world's number one job site, Indeed.com, 312-644-6. 67 Bernstein and Goff, Bears Monday on the score. Go Bears. Sam and Stickney is on the score. He is going to be the first caller of the 2017 Bears Mondays. Hello, Sam. Hello, Mr. Bernstein, Mr. Goff. Hello, Uh, Mr. Sam. Given that they only scored 17 points, um, is is it better to look at it like they're just one touchdown away from scoring enough points to win some games, or is, or is it better to look at it like seven points is seven not enough, and that's a long way to go. Both, yeah. I mean, every game is going to be different, but you're going. This is the this is the talent level that they have, Sam. There's nobody on the perimeter that's going to strike any fear in your heart. Uh, your tight ends are decent, but not dynamic enough that you're talking Jimmy Graham, Travis Kelsey, or Gronk, and their quarterback. They're treating him like a rookie quarterback. Ronnie and Juliet, you're on the score. Hello, Ronnie. Hello, Ronnie. What's happening, fellas? You got it. I was just very encouraged to hear that we have the same chance of making it to the Super Bowl as the Patriots after losing the first week. <laughs> yep, 0-1. You only can go up from here. Not really. Now, all serious, I, uh, we don't have enough skilled position players to make it to the Super Bowl this year. So, you've known that for months. Nor the coach, nor right. nor, nor, yeah, no, nor this training staff, maybe, or nobody the player development. Nobody in or around yes. the Bears or observing yes. the Bears has yes. at any point thought that this team is a contender. Yeah, you don't draft third reach overall. or win the Super Bowl. And then just jump like that. All right, we got Len Casper coming up, but Dennis and Homestead's been holding for a while. I want to squeeze him in on Bears Monday on the score. Dennis. Yes, how are you doing? Uh, this is Homestead Dennis. Yes, I said Dennis in Homestead. <laughs> no, 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 this is Homestead Dennis. Yes, that's why I said here. <laughs> there it is, Bears Monday. Bears Monday's on. Len Casper is next on the score. In, uh, Washington, Illinois, Mike is on the score. Hey, I'm Jason. How are you doing today, guys? Good, man. Hey, um, something that Danny, you said is ta- you didn't want to take things away from George because you want him lathered up and really ham- hammer on the defense, which he's, he did last year and did great. But I think Tariq Cohen doesn't necessarily take carries away from him. Right now you have a wide receiver. He did court. yesterday. He took targets. He took, he took he, he touches. Took cut, he, they look at touches, touches, really. I mean, 16 to 13, you know, you got three less touches, I believe, than, uh, than, than your Pro Bowl running back. Yeah, but you, you, when you have a wide receiving core that is decimated like that, you got to, I mean, how many, I, I didn't see the breakdown of carries to receptions for tree, but the fact is, is if he does that, you're not, you're still allowing Jordan to just pound on the defense. No, you're not. Yeah, but that's, that's not enough thing. carries. Yeah. That, that, yeah. That's, if you want somebody to pound on the defense, he needs those carries in the first yeah, he's half. A, he's a fourth quarter guy where guys are getting tired of tackling him. You know, Jordan Howard, uh, he had he had a couple of breakaways last year, but he's not the guy that you're going to look up and he's got two carries for 84 yards. No, it's a function of just right. of usage rate and, and right. the number of carries really is significant. For Tariq him. Cohen had five carries for 66 yards, of course, the long 46 yard, which was spectacular. He had 12 targets. He had, he had twice as many targets as Zach Miller. Uh, he had eight catches, so that's 13 touches for Tariq Cohen. Uh, Jordan Howard had 13 carries for 52 yards. Of course, the touchdown is long of 11, and he had three catches. Uh, should have had four with <laughs> with a touchdown, but he had he had 16 touches to uh, a rookie's 13. So I understand where Dan's going out with that. Let's try Sparta, Wisconsin, and welcome yeah, it's, Virgil it's to the school. Yeah, I'm driving through, man. I was just listening to your show. I'm a Green Bay fan. We normally didn't worry about your run game. Whose run game? Jason and I don't have. Yeah, a run I don't game. have a really good running game. Well, that's all right. I don't either. But the Chicago Bears traditionally didn't over the last three years. But this guy, Tariq Cohen, man. Well, Jordan he, Howard yeah, was Jordan, second in Jordan the Howard, was, Jordan Howard ran for 1,300 <laughs> yards and made the Pro Bowl last this year. this guy on? Well, whatever. But it, is that, not, no, not, is not, not whatever. Is that what not you, true, what you said was wrong. Yeah, your premise well, okay, is flawed. Okay, whatever. you got all the stats. That's your job. This, you, they, well, you, yes. you, it's your job to not say wrong things your, as, a, it's, as a big-time well, football if, fan. If, if you want to call a sports yeah, radio station, it's your job to be informed. Stick the lounging. But listen. Oh, here we go. Clown oh, shoes activity why did, activated. Why didn't they use the guy in, in, in the final moments in that red zone? Pass Lord. pro. Yeah, he, he had had a pass protection hiccup in the third quarter. 
Yeah, but he had a lot more positive things going on in the other quarter. But you, well, so. if you're going to throw the ball four times, you're not going to keep somebody in there that that they are right. a little leery. You know, pre- ask and answer. They, protecting they, the pass. They were asked that. John well, Fox well, said well, it was. Well, what they did didn't work either. So they should have <sighs> tried it. This is true. But if 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 Jordan Howard catches the ball or if Josh Bellamy catches the ball, are you calling about Tariq Cohen today? Uh, yes. Why no, not? That's a lie. You, you, you be calling about Tariq Cohen if Jordan Howard catches that ball for a touchdown. Yeah. It'd be no, a bad no, call. No, you wouldn't be. A little bit worse than this. First, one, first of all, that's that, first of all, you're lying. <laughs> and, and, and second of all, if you made that call, that would be a really It'd be dumb an call. awful call. If if you called if, if Mike Glennon wins his first game as a Chicago Bears quarterback with a game winning touchdown throw to the Pro Bowl running back that you didn't know about apparently last year, you call and say why wasn't no, Tariq Cohen in there? You call hold on, Virgil. Virgil, this is someone else is talking. I've never right trusted now, a dude named Virgil anyway. You call and say why wasn't Tariq Cohen? in the game? Yes. If, no, no, you oh, wouldn't. So you, you, ha- you have to be self-aware enough to know <laughs> yeah, that you just, wouldn't. Just uh, abort that mission, my man. It's a bad no, one. No, no, no. So well, wait a minute. Who had the best statistic yesterday? Oh, Jesus. Uh, okay, I think, I think uh, we're going we're gonna, to uh, say goodbye now, I mean, Virgil. In the 90s? What are you talking about? The best statistics? What are you talking about? Yeah, I think Virgil's in a time this machine. Pro Bowl running back and, and the rookie. <sighs> okay. Do you understand I, football, Virgil? Hey, man, I, I understand. Yes, football, yes or more no? Than you know. More than I know? Yeah, more than you know, but not too Well, why aren't you displaying that knowledge? <laughs> I don't know. You're man. hiding I'm it to week six, going, Virgil? And I'm, in, and I'm driving through this traffic. I don't give a damn thing. what you're driving yeah, through. You called with that dumbass hey, call. Hey, hey, I knew look, look, immediately it was going to be a bad call. I've I known two Virgils in my life. Both of them were ass. And you got a dog in Go ahead. <laughs> no, I'm not going to dog you. You've you done did. it yourself, Virgil. Like this is this is a poor display for Virgils around America. Wait, 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 hold on a second. That's okay. But look at this. Uh, I didn't pay attention to Chicago uh, last year because you guys didn't have a winning record. Uh, we don't. Year. We didn't have. Oh, oh, this we guy is. Virgil's on the old wacky tobacco. Virgil, are you are you the one driving? Or are you in the Are you in the passenger seat? Or are you in the back of the car? Hey, hey I'm, I'm both. I'm about three hundred pounds. Oh my guy, let's go. <laughs> Virgil, listen, I want you to call every week, okay? He's in both damn seats. Virgil, Virgil's got hella seats. <laughs> And B- Virgil, and boy, are you fat. Virgil, every Bears Monday, whether you watch the game or not, because it sounds like you don't watch any of the games, I want you to call every week. All right, Virgil? All right, see you guys later. Bye, right, Virgil. Bet. Thank you. That was a great answer. Which you do in all of them, my man. When Virgil sits around the house, he, he sits, sits around, around the house. Oh in Durant, Iowa. This is Daryl. And his brother Daryl on the score. <laughs> what up, Daryl? <laughs> Good afternoon. Hey, I only got two quick things to say. I was so proud of the team yesterday. It was the best game I've seen for a long time from them. Okay. For, and it was exciting to see it come down to the last play of the game. Yes. Uh, then the other thing I add is I still think it was either second or third down when Bellamy did the down and out to the left. I still think he got held up just enough so it was, wasn't going to hit his hands right. So mm-hmm. yeah, you got to make, you gotta, you gotta make that catch. That. That, you got to that, make that catch. That, this is a Bears Monday, and we've got loaded phones, and we're taking calls from weird places and yeah. Sparta, Wisconsin, and Durant, Iowa, and Are we Washington, being Illinois. Here in, in the area? I don't know. But there's, Has every mattress there, firm put up a Bernstein and Golf blocker? I don't know, but people are like rising from the corn with yeah. thoughts on the Bears, so we're going to entertain them because that's what we do, and we enjoy it on the score. As long as Kevin White gets 11 touchdowns and 1,300 yards, we're all good. Uh, I got the under on that. <laughs> Deal. Under would be the key word. Hello? We're going to do this right now? Yes. We're going to do this now? 11 touchdowns. 1,300. And 1,300 yards. You kidding? You got to ride that. Now, this is a parlay. Honestly, <laughs> you can't just bet with this man. Yeah, this isn't no Oscar bet, Dan. This is for real, okay? You can't back out of this one. <laughs> so let's, let's establish our terms here. Dinner for the crew. What you got riding on this game? Dinner for the crew. What a gamble. I've got the under 
We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna have a nice dinner at the end of the Bears. This is Kevin White of the Chicago Bears. How about Mendy's? Ooh, ever been there? And you get 11 touchdowns and 1,300 yards. So he has to hit both? How do both in half and I still take I'll, the I'll under. take the under on each of them. This is bad, ain't it, Shep? You just stepped in it. Now he's got a chance to showcase it. For him to be able to string together healthy practices, now we're set to for him to have a good year for us. And Kevin White looks like he's favoring his left shoulder as he comes to the sidelines. Love him. Oh! oh he was really whacked on the play. <laughs> oh, your shoulder. Kevin White expected to go on the IR and miss the remainder of the season. I was thinking if you're not busy, maybe I can get my meal today. <laughs> yeah, you want to get that meal, don't you? So dinner for the crew. You got no so dinner for the crew. No when to fold up. Dinner for the crew. No when to walk away. Take dinner. Boom. No when to run. You never count your money. Some fresh crab legs. When you're sitting at the table, <laughs> there'll be time enough for counting. So dinner for the crew. When the deal is done. That's why you should never gamble. Let this be a lesson to you. Washington, D.C. <laughs> Anthony, you're on the score. Anthony! What's up, guys? Hopefully this goes a little bit better than Virgil's call. No, we'll see. We won't. All right. So, honestly, I've kind of seen more than enough out of John Fox. I want to talk about a situation that could potentially pick up some ground here, you know, as the year goes on. Um, <clears throat> I think we're, it's pretty, pretty much understood this team's not headed to the playoffs this year. Most likely that results in a John Fox firing. What about Sean Payton down in New Orleans? They've been saying it for the last couple of years. Mm-hmm. Most likely on his way out, him and Ryan Pace. Mm -hmm. I want to hear your guys' thoughts. Well, it depends on how much power Sean Payton wants, too, because anywhere he goes, he's going to be the man. So you want to be the man or you want to be Ryan Pace's employee? I'm open to it. I'm open to thinking big. I'm open to to writing a big check for Jim Harbaugh. I'm open to John Gruden. See, that's the thing, though. Those guys guys are coming with player personnel if you they are coming with their list and this is what i want to do i i want to ride this ryan pace thing out man you know i like i like what i see from eddie jackson you know like Tariq cohen i feel like mitchell trubisky once we get a chance to really get a good 16 to 24 game look we'll see some things that we like but uh yeah all you gotta do now is get adam shaheen on the on the field and yeah the field is a good place for him right i don't know how you don't if you don't carry four how do you not how does he not pop up somewhere for you? No. Like a target? Like, let me look at the thing. A decoy. Let me see if he, did he have a target? He didn't have a target. You know, even the defense no. may be pointing to each other and, hey, look, big guy's yeah. in. Yeah, exactly. This is a dude who's either going to, you know, you, even on the goal line, maybe you throw him out there wide and like, what are, what are they doing here? And then you probably just run up the gut or something like the off tackle. But just something to, to whip, my, whip my, my, my taste buds a little bit. I don't want to, I don't, I don't think there's a season going to give me many wins. So this is all about player development for the last couple of drafts for me. Eric and Woodridge, you're on the score. Hey, what's going on, guys? Chill Bears out. Monday. All right. I was, in, I was impressed with two things actually yesterday from the Bears game. Uh, one was the no turnovers. And well, they, if you two, don't throw the ball down the field, you're not going to risk yeah. turnovers. Well, I understand that. I know they were masking that part. I understand that part. I know. Ball security. But, I got uh, you. Number two was actually for the roster that's kind of been flipped over, four penalties for 40 yards. Okay. That, that, that actually impressed me. Mm-hmm. And, and the, the Falcons I mean, had four in the first half. They were they were a little sloppy in the first half. All right, so taking care of the ball and discipline. But I'll tell you that, though, that your kick returner cannot let that ball come out before yeah. that final drive. Is that, that was it. Yeah. In South Bend, <laughs> Indiana, Kevin, welcome to Sports Radio 670, and a happy Bears Monday to thee. It is, isn't it? That's Kevin. Yeah. yeah I, uh, that's why I said <laughs> Kevin. <laughs> it's going to happen all day. What up, Kev? Okay. Kevin Bartizak, I um, I wanted to know if number nineteen is going to get back out there and uh, number forty four uh, on Sunday. You got You got to help me out. Who's number yeah, nineteen? I don't have, less I don't have a roster in front Tanner Gentry. Oh yeah, our guy. Maybe I don't. I don't know. I mean, yeah, because uh, he's a wide receiver, and they said should get him back out there, wouldn't they? Well, Trey and... McBride is the guy that they brought up today in the press conference. Yeah, I don't think they like Gentry that much. I don't know why, I... man. And the he's fact that he. Good. Why nah, I don't know whoa, if he's real good. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Easy, easy, easy. He's he's a prospect that, that that they can develop. I don't know if real good is the key. He yet. was made available to and nobody to, picked to, him well, up. Bears coming back. But hold on, Kevin. He, I'm saying that before we get Tanner Gentry yeah. crazy, he was he was made available via the waiver process to every other NFL team, and nobody claimed him. 
So he's okay. So he's probably not real good. Yeah, he's a prospect that needs to be developed. Okay. Kevin, well, number forty. Oh, number forty-four going to play on. Kevin, I am. Oh, oh okay. Kwiatkowski. Nick Kwiatkowski. Yeah. Well, if Jarrell Freeman's dingy in the head, yeah. Okay. I just see them both out there anyway. Um, well, I don't know. Gentry's not that great, but, you know, who knows? He wants to see Tanner Gentry yeah. out there. Yeah, he wants white Nick people. Quick- on <laughs> <laughs> just, come on. Let's, let's not, enough, not enough on the, on the yeah. Notre Dame field for you, Kevin. <laughs> right. <It's, laughs> he's gonna, he's going to hit us with a Todd Frazier as a really relatable White Sox player thing next, too, mm-hmm. by the way. No, nah, we got you, Kevin. Yeah, but Nick Kwiatkowski had a couple of sticks yesterday, too. He's a big physical man. I don't know if he can cover anybody, but he's. I don't know how he can avoid concussions either. Yeah, well, he's not going to. <laughs> he's one of those dudes. Tommy that, yeah, 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 yeah. He's 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 head button windshields when he makes the you know the fifty three man roster. That guy, you gotta be careful. In Wooddale, it is Jackson on the score. That's a good name. Hello, Jackson. What is going on? I don't today? know. Jackson. Is, Jackson. I'm going to Jackson. Jackson. Oh, here, here, right there. What hey. were you, Jackson? What were you doing? I actually, I, I got cauliflower ears, and I, I hit mute on your phone. I'm oh, sorry. okay. All right. Well, Is that yeah. from wrestling back in the day? So like you got cauliflower yeah, mouth, yeah. too, but oh. go ahead. Yeah, it was. Um, so I think two of the biggest issues going into the season, and they were exposed <laughs> yesterday, are, you know, secondary and receivers. Um, you know, obviously with White and Meredith out, mm-hmm. um, you know, good luck, uh, Glennon, and even good luck with Trubisky in the future. And I think the one thing that really aggravated me the most was just the mental mistakes, especially in the last drive uh, when they called the timeout, when they probably should have snapped it. Because I think if they're on the five-yard line, yeah. you know. Clock the, clock the yeah, ball clock, and, and I'm save with you yourself on that. a timeout. I'm with you on oh, that. That's, that's it, part of my it, John Fox hate. It, it, was, it, was, it was so aggravating because mm-hmm. you could, you, with that timeout, you could still run the ball technically. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I think one thing that's really discouraging is just I, I can't remember the last time we won a huge home game. I, I was thinking about it today, and I, I was thinking 2010 when we beat Green Bay on Monday night. Like, <laughs> oh, that just can't be. That's seven no, years no, ago. Don't say it can't be, though. Think Shep- about the, yeah, think, think about the run. What, 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 what constitutes as a huge game, though? I mean, are we talking back to Lovey's 10-6 and six year where they, they didn't make the playoffs and he had to go bye-bye? Well, and they were, obviously didn't win a big game then. With if, if Tressman, like, the first Tressman year when the offense started clicking, there were a couple in there where you started to think, you, it can't be that long ago. You've, been, you've seen the records in the last three I years? Have. Yeah, I have. to say. Well, I don't know. I mean, that's how you got all these high draft picks, brother. He might be right. Thank you, Jackson. Hopefully that cauliflower ear you know, uh, heals up. Or maybe you could bread it no. throw it in a pan. It kind of once it's it's... That yeah, way, the scar tissue is, really yeah, it. you're out here looking like like a, something from 300. <laughs> yeah, you got you to be careful, We'll Jackson. fight in the shade. <laughs> yeah, you got to be careful with that cauliflower here, man. That's not that's not good. He's not even wrestling either. He's just, you know, just in a bad relationship or something. South Shore Bill, you're on the score. Hey, what's up, guys? Good show as usual. Uh, just a couple quick points. One, I don't think Kevin White even makes this team. If he ain't drafted where he was, so really I'm not even worried about him being gone because he would have been cut if he hadn't been such a high pick in the first place. Yeah, I don't. I, I, I agree with you that I don't think losing this right. Kevin White is a big loss for the team. I agree. Right. I, I will say I do like a lot of Pace's picks. I feel like they're panning out at least decently, uh, especially like third through sixth round. Found some gems. Um, as far as getting um, Trubisky out there, We'll see what happens. Glennon has no pocket awareness. We knew that. The man moves slow. It's kind of painful to watch. People are saying he did good. I, I really don't feel that way. Uh, lastly, um, I will say this is a top 10 defense. Definitely. I feel confident in that. It's, it's until, fun to watch. Every, until everyone's dead. Yeah. and, and, <laughs> yeah, and <laughs> Until until, that, until, you, you until gotta, those 85 play games mount up. Right. And then all of a sudden and, and you Bill, can't They got to turn teams over. You, you can't be yeah. considered. And I don't know what whatever number you want to use, yards or points. But you can't be considered a Points top and turnovers defense is where you go. Until you're, unless you're taking the ball away from the other That's team. That's what Atlanta and, did the and, second half of the and, season last year. Yeah, and demoralizing them. Because what the, the effect of those it yeah. becomes something that helps everything. It lifts all broats. Did we just, did we just take a good Bears call? I, I think we did. Well, the next bank has a Bob in it. Bob in Burlington on the score. Hello, Bob. Hey, guys. Thanks for taking my call. I'll uh, just hang up and listen now. Okay. All right. <laughs> What the? that that was fantastic. 
<laughs> well, you think you've heard everything. Did he forget to ask his question? No, that was it. He just wanted to jump on and say thank you. You're welcome. Thank you for making the call. That's the best Bob call ever. Yeah, unless well, we got to get a call from our guy Bob from Niles, right? He had to watch the game with Nicole, right? Well, here's Nicole. Oh. Not my Nicole. <laughs> Maybe he, hey, you come I, home. I, I he actually was, watched the Michigan game. Yeah, I was about to say I was I was in Ann Arbor, so who knows? Maybe Bob from Niles was taking care well, of my, my kids. sister. Took me over to Jason's place <laughs> and I uh, brought a right. pizza, uh, chicken parm. You know, and then we watched Gunsmoke. I don't know. <laughs> so yeah, maybe we got to hear from Bob from Niles before the week is out. <laughs> Philip Park, Scott, you're on the score. You guys just made me lose thirty seconds out of my life. Well, Bob. <laughs> well you just uh, wasted ten of ours. <laughs> <laughs> well, from that laugh, it doesn't sound like you got a lot more time left, Scott. What do you got uh, for us? It's yeah. all good, guy. Um, no, hey, what's the comparison of, you, of Columbo and uh, White? I mean, what do you guys think? Is it time to just cut the ties? I mean, the guy gets hurt folding clothes. <laughs> Scott, that's not fair. Come on, I know. It is I, fair. I know. It's, I know it's a good line to get off, but the guy had a rod inserted to his, into his shin. He breaks the other leg the next year, and then a guy lands on him from behind. I mean, like it's okay. not. Well, it's not like we. Million, you got millions of dollars being paid here. No, 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 Scott, I mean, Scott, no, Scott, he, Scott, 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 Scott. He, had, Scott, he got it. millions of dollars because he worked his ass off and got no, drafted. In, hold on, he I got drafted into the NFL. He earned every every penny of that. I, I am not one of these dudes that are not going to act like the. The previous 17 to 21 years of a guy's life don't matter in terms of their earning potential. He, he no, they, 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 they paid okay. him that money. What I'm trying to get at is, is it going to be a black guy, how he was drafted to our guy that is doing it now? I mean, you black know. Guy. It's, it's, oh, the eye. Yeah, okay. black guy. Not black guy. No, yeah, yeah no. He's a, black it's, guy. Yeah. Black yeah. Eye. No, we got black you. No, right. I was, He's I not going to turn white because then, then your <laughs> well, career is over for sure. <laughs> <laughs> We're sorry to announce our doctors just look at Kevin White. And, and he's, he yeah, decided his, to be white. His career is now <laughs> Thank over. you, Scott. And he's changed his name to Tanner. Uh, this is Nancy in New York City on the score. Hello, Nancy. No, no, Miss Nancy, Sugar, Miss Nancy. Hey, Miss Nancy. Hey, how you doing, Sugar? Listen, I'm a little angry, but I'm a little happy, too. I'm, first of all, I'm angry with the play calling that was going on by the fifth yard line. Hey, Jim. Now, let me tell you something. Hey, hey, Jim. I believe hey, Jim. that hey, we had Jim. three Jim. players Jim. on that. Jim. Hello? Jim, you can stop. Listen, we had three mm. players. Jim, you Hannah? can stop. Trubisky, Jim, you can stop. And also, uh, um, what's the young man, Cohen, Jim. playing, running those plays? Hey, Jim. We would have got in there. Appreciate the call, Jim. It's a guy named Jim. You know that for sure? No, just got to be, though. <laughs> <laughs> There's no Nancy from New York City who wants to be called Miss Nancy, by the way. It's more of a Southern thing, and you just, you just, you just make a fool of yourself. <laughs> Kenosha <laughs> and Steve on the score. Hello? Hello. Hello, Nancy. No, no, this is Steve. Oh, this oh, is Steve. Oh, okay. Yeah. Hi, what Steve. up, Steve? How are you guys doing? I love your show. Just want to say thanks. Um, quick comment about the uh, Kevin White thing. You know, when I play blackjack at the tables, um, you know, you're, you're taking a risk on a card. And, uh, you know, they call it a lottery pick for a reason. I know they don't have that in the NFL. But uh, usually with a higher draft pick, you're assuming less risk. And Not uh, necessarily. Not well, necessarily, it, and especially it's because they knew that he was hurt. I would I would argue the opposite. I, I I would think that there, if there's the, the, the higher the pick, the more risk there is. Right. I mean, but if you're coming from a, a blue chip program in college, you know, like Alabama, they play better competition. It's supposed to, you know, from a scout's perfect. Perspective. I mean, you get a you'll get a D yeah. Milliner every once in a while. I mean, there, there's Cedric Benson went to Texas, right? Right. Curtis Enos went to Penn State. Yeah. Yeah. Mike and Gurney, you're on the score. Hey, guys, how you doing? Good. Hey, you know what? I don't consider Kevin White a bust. Just an unlucky player. Football is one of those sports you get injured. Again, the but Dan, Dan, Dan said my, my you is, can do both. You my point both. is, it's not the player who I can It's the pick. Yeah, I understand the pick. I'm like, I'm too young for Len Bias. So if you want, and I'll consider the biggest NBA buzz for me is Anthony Benton. All right, we, this, this is, this is yeah, going to go in some do, directions. Yeah, do the on, on a Bears bus. Monday, We're talking about Kevin not, White yeah. and, and, and what he has not been. And listen, man, I'm not going to front. I was a Kevin White fan. The, the, that year, I wanted Kevin White. 
And the last conversation I had with Doug Buffon before he left the studio, he was like, hey, little buddy, I've been hearing you talk about Kevin White and Amari Cooper's the guy. I'm like, Doug, I don't know. And that was the last conversation before our guy passed away. So I always think of Kevin White and Amari Cooper in that sense. But I, I, you want that dude. I just came from a city where Julio Jones was blossoming into one of the better football players in the game. This guy's the same size as Julio and ran a little bit faster than him in the combine. I wanted that guy. So, yeah, I'm, it sucks. It sucks that that player didn't pan out. And he was the payment for two years of what Mark Tressman did to the city. Yeah, that was your, your reward for Dr. Death. For Dr. Death killing I Bears football. I wasn't here for you, it. You got Kevin White, and I think Dr. Death also killed Kevin White. Oh, Tony and Saugan Ash are on the score. Hey, guys, I got a question and an observation. The question is, I just was able to turn tune in a little while ago. Any calls that the uh, Cutler or McCown could have been signed for cheaper Shh. instead of Glennon? Mm-mm. No, no, don't, don't, don't do, do this, that. Tony. Don't, Tony. Don't do this, no, Tony. No, 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 I'm not we even going to let you get to your comments. Don't infect us with this, Tony. Don't. You know what you're, you're doing. Okay. Go enjoy the oh, beautiful no, no, town of Saugadash. Okay. That's not my observation. That's not, my observation is I see like a pattern developing here where the Bears, they play a solid game for, you know, close game for three quarters. Yep. And then a gas defense with no depth, really. They end up making a critical mistake yes. or two yep. like they did yesterday. Yep. I mean, I that's how you get to 11 happening. losses. Yes, you, that was it. You, yeah. The Bears showed you everything that you need right. to know about them this year. And they're going to run into a yes. dumb play or a dumb player where they'll, they'll you know, mess around and get a, 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 a fortuitous bounce and sneak out of victory. But yep. it's only going to happen five or six times. This defense is going to be hurt at the end of this year because of how much they're going to be on the field because their offense is just good enough to get you into a third and short, a third and medium, and not convert it. That's what happens. Earl is calling. He's on the road. He's on the score. What up, Earl? Hey, what up, man? How you doing? Hey, I just want to ask y'all one question, man. Was I watching the wrong game, man? Because the only game that I saw was that that uh, Atlanta's offense was just as conservative, man, as a mm-hmm. Lovey Smith offense. I'm looking at the TV screaming. Why are you handing the ball off? This is a uh, I'm the man secondary. You're supposed to be killing them. I was surprised. I was surprised that right. Jones didn't get the ball no, a lot more, right. Earl. Right. What are they doing, man? You were supposed to stop the Bears and choke them out. Oh, sounds because like Earl lost a little money. Huh? They left them close. I see the Bears as fools go, y'all. Y'all tap the brakes, man. Well, oh, well, hold on. But who's who's saying they were good, though, Earl? I said that they were exactly what we expected them to be in terms of being close. Or this is how they're going to lose a lot of games. No, they, in the, in the no, end, no, they will. No, they're worse than that. They're worse than. Well, they're, I said they were five. And, they're going to be a five and eleven team. Like what? You, yeah, how many? How many wins do you think they're gonna, same as last year at three? Uh, I saw them as two and fourteen. Wow. Ooh, I don't. I don't think they're that bad. It's yeah, hard to be dude. that bad. Dude. Really hard to be that bad. You got to work to be that bad. Like the bad. Jets are going to find themselves one or two. Yeah, you, yeah. The Jets. I, yeah, I said it. the Jets are going to find the yeah. yeah, yeah. Special teams silliness or you know, Thursday night guys are getting kicked out of games without even throwing punch. Did you see Jeremy Lane get thrown out of that Packers Seattle game? He didn't even throw a punch. Like they are throwing dudes out. The, the That's emphasis. like some of this college targeting BS. Yeah, it happened in the Michigan game. Rashawn that Gary almost got thrown ridiculous. out. Ridiculous. Yeah, they, they, they are. They're going to be some angry betters this college football and NFL season because NFL refs are not for the play play. They are throwing dudes out who aren't even throwing punches or getting into it. Really, this is Tony and Villa Park on the score. Yeah. I, uh, speaking of no margin for error, um, that phantom first down that the Falcons were granted early in the game. No clue. Yeah, I got nothing for yeah, you. It was bad football. That well, that was like a three point gift to the Falcons. Yeah, because it continued the drive. I got you. I hear what you're saying. Yeah, you, you can I, still stop them, but I got you. I have no idea how something like that in this day and age can be allowed. They to spotted them two yards. Other other than the the uh, laxity or the oh, what's the word I'm looking for? The, the, la- the progress latitude. got the Ford progress got stopped a yard uh, before the the first down marker. They gave him the ball not only at the first down marker but the yard after the first down. Was marker. it not challengeable? You can always challenge the spot. That's what though. I thought. You can always challenge the spot. I, 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 can you always? I think so. Okay, because sometimes they give them latitude when it comes to spotting forward progress. I think so. Appreciate, the, appreciate progress. the call, Tom. Yeah, Tony, I wish I had an answer for you. I, I, unfortunately, I don't. It was That's just, one of those ones, bad. Dan, where it's so early in the game, too, where you're like, I don't want to waste a challenge on this. But then you look back on, the, like you said, the margin for error. 
And now we're going to see him firing off challenges in the first drive or the first you know quarter, and then we're going to get angry about it. But yeah, that was terrible football. That was that was a case of bad football, whether it be by the league, the officiating crew, uh, everybody on the sidelines who saw it and didn't say anything about it. It was bad. And no excuses for anything like that anymore. No. Not not now. Too many cameras out there. Johnny and Berwin. It's Johnny Berwin on the score. <laughs> yeah, Johnny Berwin checking in. What up, guys? I love the I love the show. Thank I just want to talk about like um everybody, you know what I'm saying, saying that uh Glennon lost the game. Glennon played a good game. He managed the game. I mean, you know He did as much like, as he possibly could. Exactly. I'm like, man, I'm That's mean, not good though. <laughs> Right, the fact is, he, he literally did <laughs> yeah. as much as he yeah. possibly yeah, could. I, I understand what you're saying, Johnny. Like nobody's crapping on Glennon, but it's it's uh, whew, but I'm saying, it's a low bar. If these receivers catch the ball, we win the game. True, That's my thing. True, uh, you can play if you start playing the if game in yeah. the NFL. Well, Josh Bellamy and Jordan Howard, you, you get two shots at it there, and we're talking about a different thing. I, I don't know that I'm any more joyous or happy. I I, I felt okay about the game. I guess, you know, being a Bears fan, wanting them to win every game that I sit down to watch them win or watch them play, you know, but it's like the Doug effect where Doug knew that he was covering a 7-9 and nine or an 8-8 eight eight squad, but every Friday when you put Doug on the air, Doug will give you the 12 points on why the Bears would win, and then you'd be like, all right, Doug, what's going to be the score? And he's like, Oh, uh, little buddy, Packers gonna beat him thirty-four to fifteen. Right. You know what I mean? Like, but but he would do the work. He yes, just he yes, wanted it to yes. wanted to make it work. He tried to separate his heart from his head as often as he possibly could. I sit down on that couch. I'm looking for a Bears win, and I'm getting angry when things don't happen. And then you remove yourself. I didn't get any post game in me yesterday, so that maybe that changed how I consumed the Bears product. I didn't hear John Fox talk after that, or Mike Glennon. I still haven't heard Mike Glennon talk. You know, that's fine with me. I'm not, not expecting him to say anything that I don't know he was gonna say. Hope his confidence is up. Now they're going up against a, bu- a Buccaneers team that you have to put points up against. Yeah, because they're, yes. they're going to score 28 minimum. And they've been waiting for two weeks. They've, they've been sitting on their hands for two weeks after a preseason, wanting to hit somebody else. They've got offensive weapons across the board. Uh, I, you, you're going to have to put up more than the 17 you put up against the Falcons. Arlington Heights on Bears Monday. Nick, you're on the score. Hey, fellas, I wanted to hear your, your take on this. I'm a 23-year-old Bears fan. And and my take on that is, uh, well, I'd have to think about Nick, it. Nick, you're 23? <laughs> yeah, what? You sound like you're like 35, Yeah, how bro? much do you smoke? <laughs> <laughs> Nick. Hey, all right, I say that because, so, I looked at Glennon yesterday. Yeah. And I saw the post game. I hate that I say this, but I see number eight. I see somebody kind of timid, maybe not as confident. And I get this Rex Grossman nah, reminder. That no. Rex wasn't timid. No, Rex was, Rex, Rex Rex was, was down the opposite field. of timid. <laughs> Rex went down the hear, field a lot. I want to hear if part of the Glennon Trubisky argument is the fact that Trubisky. you see this number 10 guy, the underdog, the no. rookie, you know, slightly more attractive than Glennon. He's got the moxie that they're looking for. I grew up with Garoppolo, so it kind of reminds me of seeing number 10, another Jimmy out there, very <laughs> mobile like Mariota. I think people just like the personality, the moxie guy. of Trubisky a little bit more than it's kind of a dull Mike Glennon. Running down the checklist, <laughs> checking every box. Oh, wow. He grew up with Garoppolo. He looks like Garoppolo. Man. Uh, and just the fact that you, you're you 23, so I'm wondering how old you were when, when, you, when you should have been watching Rex Grossman play. If you call him timid... You didn't understand what was going on. His oh downfall was that he didn't have a bit of timidity to his game and was always like, screw it. I'm chucking this <laughs> deep the, again. He put the ball everywhere it shouldn't have been. All the time. <laughs> Even in the Super Bowl. He's Rex just like, Grossman I'm chucking timid. this thing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, wow. Yeah, um, I, I, I don't know what to say to any of that. I don't really have a take yeah, on it because yeah. I'm not sure I understand <laughs> it. Welcome I, to Bears Monday. Yes, I think you wanted to say that you grew up with Jimmy That's Garoppolo it. for That's some it. reason. That's it. And when he comes back to town. Down, you know, you guys wrangle up some brews and yeah, talk that, about the old days. It didn't sound like a 23 year old. No, right? Sound like a 42 year old Streets and Sands guy. Like that. That there's no way in hell that guy's 23. 23? Yeah, like, I remember Bobby Douglas saying 23. <laughs> like, what are you talking about here, man? This is uh, this has been quite the day. This is my first. This is my this is my maiden voyage on this side of the glass in afternoons dealing with Bears callers. That's right. My, my favorite call today, though, was from we took a call from a Bob who said, guys, hey, thanks for taking my call. I'm going to hang up and listen. Simple as that. My favorite, Virgil.
Yeah, Virgil <laughs> asking which seat of the car right. he was sitting in because you were concerned right. about his fitness to be driving, and his answer was he was sitting in all the seats because he's enormous. <laughs> Welcome in. It's the Bernstein and Golf Show. You're listening to 670 The Score.